here we go. Obviously, at the end of uh, beating Dr. Eggman and escaping the... Uh, uh, it's escaping the area you're, you look at the background distance you obviously see a purple moon obviously it's the end so we have a little bit of cross generation here when it comes to the sonic the hedgehog series between classic and modern are we possibly going to get a sonic uh generations 2 i mean if they're bringing in all these uh references because look i mean they already brought a reference that sonic said uh, in a modern game, obviously, and here's the evidence right here from a classic uh, series. Makes you think, right? What is up, everybody? And apparently, here's this, here's this tweet right here by Ian Flynn. Everyone is losing their minds over the purple one, but nobody's talking about the blue one. It's not the end. It can't be. Relax. Alright, so apparently Ian Flynn wrote a tweet right here. Oh, fun fact about this tweet right here. Ian Flynn didn't even have the audacity to let everybody reply to this. Only people that he approved can reply to this. I understand Ian Flynn is probably tired and dealing with the fandom. Hey, it comes with the territory, Ian Flynn. What did you think was going to happen? You know, people are going to try to prove your theory wrong. And why, you know, just because you're so... Just because you're you're the lore master, you're not the lore master, okay? First of all, Sake of Japan decides what's canon and what's not canon. You're nothing more than a shill who's who's told what to do and what you can write about. That's all you are. So everybody, don't believe what Ian Flynn is saying, alright? He had no involvement in Sonic Superstar story whatsoever. None of this is adding up. If you ask me, I heard nothing from Takashi Izuka or Nato Oshima confirming what Ian Flynn posted. Plus, it was Takashi Izuka who wrote the entire story for Sonic Superstars, not Ian Flynn. You know, and what about the classic Sonic un uh, Umbrella Easter egg that was clearly based off Sonic uh, Frontier's unused line from Sonic? And what about the uh, what about the uh, shooting level in the space uh, area where you're shooting in 2D? Gee, didn't Sonic Frontiers have something like that? Oh yeah, that's right. It had it in the main game, and that was the original final boss until Final Horizons changes it. Yeah, like, why would Ian Flynn want to say something like that? So does that mean that Dr. Eggman blew up half of the moon in Sonic Adventure 2, and it was, again, a different moon that he blew up, and it wasn't a purple moon? You know, can that be it? You know, I understand why, why he said something like that, but I kind of wish Ian Flynn didn't address it like this, because everybody was having fun in implication of the Easter egg just for fun, just like Big the Cat in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, and of course Sonic Frontier's Big the Cat made an appearance, even though Final Horizons confirmed that wasn't the real Big the Cat, but still he was in Sonic's memory, so they gotta be planning towards something. You know, again, it doesn't add up. Why show a purple moon exactly where you're fighting Dr. Eggman and fighting Dr. Eggman at the same manner you originally battled the end? It just doesn't add up. You know, and also, who controlled the purple dragon at, you know, at the end of the soup, at the final boss fight? I mean, you look at the aura, it's dark. You know, so, you know, that's why I'm showing this screenshot also right here. These two are similar in a way. So again, tell me when I'm telling lies. Unbelievable. And the fact that Ian Flynn, you know, only allows certain people to he mentioned can reply. What a cowardly move by him. Ridiculous. Other than that, everybody let me know what y'all think and I gotta go. Peace out. I'm here. Sorry, Master King. Looks like I'm going all out after all. Now 